it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Badger. And it's Maha. And we are back at it again with another, with another video. video. So today, y'all already know we back at it again with another, another comparison, comparison video. video. You gonna Is stop doing Is this. this It will be these nuts. <laughs> Anyways, man, we're back with another comparison video. And today we're gonna see what is the most painful things to step on. And ooh, boy, I just cringe just thinking about that, boy. I just cringe. This is the most world's painful things to step on. Anyways, before we do watch this video, let's give them the first of the day. The first of the day comes from John 1010. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Amen. I felt that Amen. one. I really felt that one. Jesus yeah. Christ is great, boy. First one, man, is, a, <laughs> is the painful, is a banana pill. Squishy underfoot, but be careful. You don't slip over what is this Mario Kart. No. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, no. Nah, a banana pill. You only get a 0 0.5 of pain when it comes to that. The second is a remote control. It'll probably change the channel, who cares? That Have I stepped on a remote control before? No, if anything, I lose remote controls. Yeah. They just be going somewhere and doing something and then coming back. Oh, what the freak? Ooh. We are already on something crazy. If you step on a wolf spider, that's a 1.5 of yeah. the scale of pain. Uh, if you step on a mother, hundreds of spiders will be released. Oh my goodness. I've seen something like that. Worst oh nightmare. My. Oh, a gravel path. That's a level two on the pain scale. Only psychopaths like to walk on this without <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Okay. Honestly, I only see white people that do like <laughs> never have shoes on sometimes. Yeah. I couldn't do that. Popcorn kernels. Uh, mm. Yeah, if you step on that, that junk, that junk gonna hurt. But it's a three. It's not too bad. They feel so smooth on your, on your, they feel so smooth in your mouth, but the small surface area hurts like hell on a foot. Mm. I bet. Lego brick. Ooh, I think this should have been higher. I know. I don't know what the pain scale is out of, but this is a four and it's not that bad, though much worse if stepped on with the heel, big facts. Yeah, that junk Yeah, hurt. all that pressure. That junk no, hurt, thank you. hurt. Concrete on a sunny day. Ooh, boy, that junk be hot. So this is a five, concrete on a sunny day. Concrete can get hot enough to burn your feet. Don't walk your dog in this weather, 100%. 100%, that is very true. All right, the next one, we got toothpicks. It's a level six on the pain scale. Worst case scenario, it'll snap before doing any serious damage. But here's my thing. It's when the toothpick is like right side up. Bang! Ooh, no, so it's on the ground and it's broken with the edge is up oh, like that. Oh, yeah. But I have never been in that situation. Same. I don't want to either. Yeah, so. barnacle rock. I think I've stepped on this before. So this is a seven on the scale. Scraping your foot across this can ruin a perfectly nice day at the beach. I've never seen or felt that. Eight on the pain scale is a pine cone. These are terrible to step on, especially with its leaves fully spread apart. Mm. Have I stepped on pine cones before? I don't know if I stepped on them, but like I feel them. They spiky. Mm -hmm. You throw them at someone in the back. What are the, have you, have you stepped on Casarina trees? No. Bro, these are little tiny, little spiky devlins. Those green things? No, they're brown. Oh, maybe. They're terrible. I think I, oh, those little circle brown things that yeah, got spikes. Yeah, they're spiky like this. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 those suck. That better be on this list. Yeah, the garden rake. It's 10 on the scale. It probably won't hurt until the pull whacks you right in the <laughs> I face. I was thinking about that. You see that in the <laughs> movies. Like, yeah. They'd be like, boom. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> this is 11 on the scale, splintered wood. One is bad, but if you get multiple, it can cause an infection and serious complications. Dang, they be just going to like the worst possible yeah. outcome, which, hey, it's true, you know? Christmas tree bauble. What the? I don't know what that is. Well, it's 13. Is that the ornament? On. Yes. Oh. It's 13 on the scale. It might look festy, but it will shatter instantly and spread glass in your foot. That's why you get the plastic ones. <laughs> Bad. So don't get the glass ones, so you don't have to deal with that. Yeah. A dead bee. Huh. I've heard about this. So a dead bee is 14 on the scale. Even if it's dead, it'll sting you. The harder you're, the harder you step, the more venom gets injected. Ooh. 
Never heard of that. That's terrible. It's crazy. Sand spur. 15 on the scale, so spiky it'll get stuck in your foot. Mm. They're actually the fruit of a type of green grass. Oh, I know what I know. What I think means. I've seen that before. Yeah. Thank the Lord we don't have them in the backyard. True. Cactus. 16 on the scale. Cactus spines can grow up to six inches, 15 centimeters long, straight into your soft soul. Yeah. That sounds- One of my besties for the resties, they got me a cactus, like a cute little cactus plant. And I remember I was like reaching on my window still, and that thing just like whacked me all over in here and I had to like pick it slowly and surely. That sounds Terrible. painful. Yeah. Ooh. Mouse trap. 17 on the scale. They are loaded with enough force to kill a mouse instantly. Imagine that on your toe. That sounds horrible. Mm -hmm. Horrible. No, Ooh, 18 on the scale, your own toe. You can end up breaking it. This is why you don't curl your toes while walking. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Who curls her toes while walking? I don't walking? know. That's really weird. I don't even think that's normal. That's weird. Oh my goodness. A poor coupine. 19 on the scale. They look cute, but watch out for the 30,000 quills. Each one has 800 barbs. Oof. Imagine someone just throwing a pork and pine at you. I know. <laughs> that that sounds, would be pretty funny. That sounds painful and funny. Oh. Tire puncture barrier. These are the things you see in GTA. Ah, uh, stay away from them very sharp. So those are the things that take your tires out. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's 20 on the scale. Do you ever drive past them and think that you're ma and like double check you're going the right way? What are you talking about? The tire puncture barrier. Cause you know, there are some that face a certain way, which means you can only enter this way and you can't back up or else it'll puncture your tires. Really? Yeah. I don't even know what you're talking about. Really? No. Oh, we have them in Bermuda. Oh, I don't know. I've and never seen that. You might see them in like parking decks or something. I got, I would have to see that. Oh, I never yeah. knew that. Wow. Yeah. Liquid nitrogen. What? It's 21 on the scale. Being a negative 196 degrees Celsius, it will instantly freeze your flesh. <gasps> oh, causing frostbite. I didn't know that. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I did not know that. 23 on the scale is pile of broken glass. Good luck picking out all those little shards as you bleed everywhere. Wow, thanks for the um, graphic image. Facts, <laughs> right? That does sound really painful as well. 23 on the scale. Ooh, stingray. Well, this can kill you. Mm -hmm. Stingray is rare, but their stinger can kill a human. R.I.P. Steve Irwin. Yeah, Dang. I'm sad. R.I.P. man. Our oh. fish hook, 25 on the scale. Yeah. Poor fishes, if it pierces your foot, you will limp for a week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Makes you want to go fishing though. No, it don't. Okay. Makes me want to stay far from fishing. <laughs> Any fish hooks. You think we can go fishing in Costa Rica? I have no idea. Ooh a bullet ant. A bullet ant. How can you even tell a bullet ant from like a regular red ant? I don't know. But Are these fire ants? I have no idea. But no, they're bullet ants. <laughs> oh. But it is, uh, the pain of them are a 26 on the scale. The sting is like being shot. Mm. Now imagine being shot in the foot, wanting to try. No. What is, is that like being painful? shot? I mean, I don't know what it feels like yeah. to be shot, but that tiny thing can cause that. That's crazy. Lord, why did you make these? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Disposable barbecue. It's 27 on the scale. Beaches are now batting these because the hot grill is left hidden in the sand. I know people who do that, you need to reevaluate your life because mm. you're hurting the turtles. Facts. True that. We love the turtles. Mm -hmm. Sea urchin. It's 28 on the scale. You should pee on the wound to counteract the venom or you'll get necrosis. Yeesh. I don't know what necrosis is, but I don't want it. So just <laughs> pee on me. Pause. Ooh, a rusty nail. Mm. Shoot, with a rusty nail, you can get infected. Yeah. But this is 31 on the scale. This could pierce your foot from one end to the other. Can cause ten tinnitus. Tinnitus. Tinnitus? What is that? <laughs> tetanus. 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 Right? Yeah, tetanus. T tetanus. I knew it was something. <laughs> can cause tetanus if rusty. I, I thought tetanus. you were going to say tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> Why I always get the hard stuff? We need to make a compilation. Of Facts. Fire. That'll be a lot Mess of work. Up. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> It probably won't even be a lot of work. I seem like I messed it up every video. Yeah. A weaver fish. What the freak? Is 32 on the scale. 
Weaver fish. This venomous fish hides in the sand. Its sting apparently makes grown men cry. That is oh, wild. it's one of those things. Y'all got that in Bermuda? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Hmm, that's weird. Perry! Platypus! Perry! <laughs> hey, it's just a regular platypus. Perry! <laughs> Perry the platypus is a 33 on the scale. I never knew this. Yeah, same. Why did the why did freaking um Disney? What's their names? Uh, oh, Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, why did they have a plant a a, a pet? Because they were Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, they did a lot of crazy stuff. Spurs on their hind legs contain venom so strong it will temporarily paralyze you. Whoa. Yo, I gotta look into platypuses. I didn't yeah. know that's how they were rocking. You know. I thought, so it's in the back of their legs. In the cartoons, I thought that they added that just for like extra what show. What about the back of their legs? The spurs. They're, they're pointy things. Oh. On the back of their legs. Okay. I don't even remember it. Oh. <laughs> but I got to look into that. 34 on the list. Uh, hornet's nest. Say hello to 700 angry wolves. No, thank you. Bet they can't wait to sing your arms, face, and neck. Ooh. That just sounds like a trip to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Punji sticks is 36 on the scale. Sharpened bamboo sticks, steaks were smeared with poison and left in pits in Vietnam. Oh my god. Ooh, so if you step on that, you're done for. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's a that's an evil, that is evil invention. Bear traps, 37 on the scale. It can literally break your leg and hold you hostage. Be careful in bear country. What's where's bear country? Like anywhere mountains. where it's like yeah anywhere that it's heavy bears mm. like in chicago <laughs> the chicago bears okay come on man y'all really think y'all think where else will bears be chicago man come on think man <laughs> you gotta be smarter open your than third me. eye open your third eye <laughs> mine's in my butt <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness. This is 39 on the scale. Pool of acid. You might feel a tickle at first as the cor cohesive acid eats. Corrosive. Cor what? Corrosive. Corrosive acid eats into your flesh. I was actually laughing because they had the audacity to say you might feel a tickle at first. <laughs> <laughs> that tickle. Mm, ticklish. And then you're going to pull it up and your foot gone. <laughs> it's going to be straight bone and terrible. flesh gone. So, out of, uh, on the scale, this is a 40. The pain is a 40. Warrior wasps. The sting is l likened to being chained in the flow of an active volcano. Where do they get these That's comparisons? That's what I'm saying. From? Like, what? I don't get how they figure this out. Yeah. Someone had know. to do it. Or, yeah. I don't know. Someone had to do that research. <laughs> Just imagine it's like you trying to describe like, yeah, what's it like being stung by a warrior wasp? Do you know what it feels like being in a chain in the flow of an active volcano? You you know that feeling? Well, that's the feeling. <laughs> like imagine being described that and you yeah, really exactly. don't know what the heck that is. All you exactly. all you hear is active volcano and just think it's bad. Ooh. Oh. That's like some Final Destination I'm heard, crap. I'm heard about this. 55 on the scale. Spinning lawnmower blade. There would be nothing but a stump left. I think that happened to my one of my classmates in primary school. Not my classmate, sorry. His dad. He got... He lost a toe. Oh. That's why I don't cut my grass. <laughs> <laughs> Old faithful geezer. Six on the scale you'll be shot high in the air by a torrent torrent of boiling water Whoa. so you'll burn alive yeah of water yikes and then you're gonna fall back down and continue <laughs> to burn crazy landmine 70 on the scale if you survive which you won't <laughs> you have lifelong injuries what's that a landmine those things that you just walk in and then boom you just blow oh, up oh. if you step on it yeah Dang. you're done so done so huh Infinite pain, cat's, cat's tail. tail, it hurts your very soul. I don't get it. Me either, y'all. A cat's tail, like a cat whipping you with its tail? Oh, uh, I don't know. I think whoever creates these videos must love cats. I know someone that has a cat. Let's go see 
Let's ask if to see if the, that is true. We're gonna ask the cat expert that has two cats. Oh. Never mind. Freak you. <laughs> you weren't ever my friend in the first place. <laughs> Actually, actually, y'all, after going in the comments, and we we must have forgot what video we were watching about the stepping on, but uh, with the cat's tail, we get it now. If you step on the cat's tail, it hurts your soul. I don't care for cats, <laughs> so it wouldn't hurt my soul. I would feel bad. I'm yeah. sorry, cat. I, I don't care for cats. Sorry, kitty. But if I step on my dogs, or they they be like we have. Ah! then we I can't. Stepped on their their then toes the, yeah, before. That's painful to me. Yeah. That's painful. But them cats, especially with Princess Cry. <laughs> they still sleep. They used to know it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and we'll see you next time. In AG two G, all glory to the Most High Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 